Trayvon Martin will forever remain in the annals of history next to Mega Evers and Emmett Till as symbols for the fight for equal justice for all. That was Benjamin Crump, attorney for Trayvon Martin's family after George Zimmerman was found not guilty last night. And I want to remind folks that when he says Emmett Till and Medgar Evers, it's not just because they are African-American men who were killed, but also whose, whose killers had jury trials and were found not guilty. It, well, I want to preserve a sense that there is justice in the justice system. Mm -hmm because I, I don't really know how I go on if I don't preserve that, is either the civil courts or the Justice Department coming down and potentially bringing um, federal charges around civil rights. Are those possibilities for avenues here? Yes, but, you, you know, I want to, there's been something that I've been wanting to say, you know, since we began this discussion to your point about was justice served? Yeah. You know, there were so many problems with this case and the presentation all the way through it. And we have to remember when before we judge the jury and, and you mm -hmm. know, the, the system, there can be legally justifiable verdicts that are not socially acceptable, that are not yep. morally acceptable. Yep. There is a difference. You know, the yep. justice looks at the case. Justice is not fair. That's. Uh, you see, know, see this, is, this is the lawyer in you, right, right that, that, right. that can do that, right, right. that can and say... now I'm about to cry, but that's the truth, right. that but is the, the and, truth. Right, and, that, and that's the thing, you must, like, before you take your hand and you go into the bar, right, it is that recognition that it is possible those six people made the, the legally the, appropriate the decision. Right choice. We should not vilify the jurors. No, we I agree. We should not. What we should vilify is the fact that we have not built the justice system to be a just system mm. because it is not a naturally occurring phenomenon this is not a plant growing out on the you know in between some cracks in the sidewalk this is a system we construct through body of laws the department of justice is going to face the same challenges yep. with this case yeah. because of how we have structured our laws mm -hmm. conscious level racial discrimination is still at the root yep. of how we understand race in a civil rights context. Yep. But the social science tells us we're in a different paradigm. Yep. Mm. We have made progress since Brown v. Yep. Board in it being okay to be overtly racist, and we have made tremendous strides. Yep. We are now in a new paradigm of getting to the next level of working on how race yeah, Lisa, I want to ask you to, to respond. Last night on CNN, um, George Zimmerman's brother said something about kind of our broader justice system that I'd love for you to respond to. That happens in Chicago every day. You know, there are many people who go out and, and shoot other people who are black and they shoot other people who are black and they are not charged they, for whatever reason. So his claim here is that, look, there's, there's lots of folks who aren't charged when there's murder. When there's well, a killing. Okay, well, first of all, he's right in the sense that we should, of course, always talk about the horrendous killings in Chicago and the inner cities. And, I mean, that, that's a very important thing to talk about. I think the bigger point he's trying to make is this wouldn't have gotten all the media attention. A lot of people on the right say this. This wouldn't have gotten all as much media attention if the races were reversed. You know, I, it wouldn't have gotten the media attention if it wasn't this case. What got the attention is that this was a fairly clear case of racial profiling. Mm -hmm. And this was a case where the police failed to investigate. Investigate. And now it's concluded with the case that the prosecutors really failed to prosecute aggressively in the normal way that murder cases go down. I mean, mm -hmm. there were a lot of very strange things that have happened in the courtroom, about a dozen of them, of them that I've talked about in the last week. So that's what made it newsworthy and significant. Mm -hmm. This was a case that engendered a groundswell of public support, mm -hmm. especially in the African-American community. It touched a nerve among so many people that it, it hit home. so personal the way that you've talked about it in your own life, the way mothers are talking about their yeah. sons not being able to walk down the street being yeah. targeted being concerned that they're just suspicious yeah. for walking while black yeah. that's why it got so much attention yep. if, if yeah, could... that, that, it, that it reached everything you're going to stick with us so stay with us one second here michael i'm, I'm going to say goodbye at this point to Maya wally to raul reyes and to lisa bloom i appreciate all of your contributions this morning we are back with much more on the verdict in the trial of george zimmerman right when we get back
being the victims of violence.